This year's charity match day helped to raise over £200,000 for the Arsenal Foundation. It's money that will change lives, but behind the scenes there was a small group for whom change was already underway. The Wembley to Soweto Foundation is now in its second year of partnership with the club, tutoring disadvantaged young people in the art of photography and the skills needed to succeed. It's a programme born out of passion and dedication after founders John Cole and David Westhead saw the potential of a camera to change lives. This programme almost happened by chance. Um, it started in 2010 with the backdrop of the World Cup in South Africa and worked with eight young people from the townships to take photographs hoping that maybe they'd get a little job as a wedding photographer or as anything that could make them a couple of quid really but it became so much more than all of that so we ended up working over in Brazil and we ended up working all around the UK and then we found our natural home which was at the Arsenal um, it was a chance meeting between funnily enough myself and Ivan Gadzidis over in Brazil and Ivan said I love this project how can I get involved we had a great chat he was incredibly supportive and uh, the people who've helped out are too too many to mention and um, here we are with our second group of learners from Arsenal in the community. It's been the most phenomenal project and a wonderful journey. This year's group was tutored by David and professional photographer Gillian Edelstein, with additional input from Arsenal's club photographers Stuart McFarlane and David Price. But just as essential to the course were mentors Victor McCauley and Carmen Royal, who are graduates of last year's course. Being a mentor for this year, it was, oh, it was amazing. I think at the end of the last project, I was saying that it was a shame that it was now over and it would be good to use my skills that I've learned to help others learn. So being picked to be a mentor for this year's Wembley Sweater team, uh, it's just mind blowing. To be a mentor is, is like you being like a mom or a dad, it's like you pass on an experience to your children. and. It went well, to be honest. Um, so I'm proud of it and I'm happy to be a mentor. And that makes me really strong and put me in a position that I am right now. The drone just takes show without the flash and what see then compare it with the flash. Oh, if it's not good, then you just watch it. Yeah. I've learned so much from the project. Um, Stuart McFarlane's been a complete inspiration to me. He's built, helped build my confidence, especially being pitch side. Um, I now know when the best times is to take a shot, how to um, crop an image before I take the shot and I'm able to now use them skills and show the other guys on the course how it's done. The shutter speed is really, could you see how long it took to take the picture? Whereas if I take a picture on here, look. See how quick that was? Yeah. So yours is really low, so you need to... Under the guidance of experts and those who've gone before them, this year's group of eight photographers began their four-week course at the Arsenal Hub, learning the ropes and honing their skills in the run-up to our charity match day against Stoke City, where they would have the chance to sit pitch side and shoot the game. It's been fun. Working with Victor, I've made a true friend. He's always funny, he lightens up the mood. Working with David, he just doesn't stop talking. And working with Gillian, getting tips from a professional, someone I can look up to. She's always giving good advice and she's just good at what she does really. It's like, it's been like a really big boost because as soon as we came on the first day, we were getting tutored by a really good photographer. So just listening to her say what she has to say and showing us her work at the same time it makes you understand how like, big of a jump you've stepped into as soon as you come into the course. Walking on the pitch, I actually felt like I was a footballer near enough and I got a magic shot of Ozil. Shot of it looking directly into my lens, so like, that's, like a, that's like a life changer that one. It was a dream come true. It's just like having Meza celebrating in front of us, like on his knees. Like he'd done his celebration and everything. It was just wicked. And not just Meza, it was being around 60,000 people. Just, it's a dream come true. 
These guys have taken some extraordinary photographs, but more than that, they've gelled as a group. You know, you can always see when you meet the eight young learners on the first day, that some are more confident than others. Some are obviously, you know, alphas and others are betas and watching them look out for each other, bond together, work as this united team uh, is always a privilege and a major, major uh, experience to see how they all um, come together to try and produce something that isn't individual. It's uh, like, like, like a football club, like a football team. It's something that the group achieve. It's not that the individual achieves. And this group, you know, have been absolutely phenomenal. It's just done so much for my confidence because of the social skills. As well as the photography, I'm getting better. So working with Gillian and David, as well as Carmen and Victor, it's benefited me because looking in for photography is something I've always wanted to do. This course has made me realise that there's so much to life and if you actually want to get it, you've got to go through it and be persistent and just try. Because I didn't know I'll be here and now I'm here. To see more, 